The conference is over now, and I had a good time. I didn't have a lot of people, but I was able to encourage enough of them to consider going on a trip. One of them came and listened to my discussion, and she works for an organization that helps college students on the spectrum right here at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. They call it the UTC. And it is not a all-inclusive post-secondary education program. They're inclusive, but they have support systems to help somebody become accustomed to college life and into the real world, that kind of a thing. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the lifetime blogging. and just got out of a bath and a shower and I'm getting ready to um, go out and spend the night on the town. Tomorrow, checkout is at noon. So number one, I can sleep late. So uh, I don't think there's any problem with me getting a beer between tonight and tomorrow. So I am very excited about that. Nothing stopping me now. because again, the food is affordable. Uh, it was either this or go to Five Guys, but they have them in Atlanta and the pizza here is great. So, here we go again. Lupe's double whammy. drinking a Belgian white blue moon and I think I'm eligible to drink so there I'm also planning on looking for some bands that are playing for free tonight maybe some indie rock whatever it is in addition to walking on the riverfront because the weather is that warm and it would be nice if there was a band playing tonight at this hotel uh, not this hotel but this place um, Maybe there's something playing at my hotel, or maybe there's something over at the Flying Squirrel. I have no idea, but the Flying Squirrel is over by this hostel that I told you about before called the Crash Pad, and I have been wanting to stay there. Maybe later in the summer, I'll try to go there, try to see if I can uh, squeeze some time in. If not, then maybe I'll go to Savannah, but either way, I want to do a getaway, and I want to have some time to myself even though I'm having some time now, but I almost did not leave my room. I almost wanted to stay at Goof Off, and then I got dressed and said, nah, nah, I'm not gonna waste a good time to miss a sunset right over the river in the west. And I love the Tennessee River, and I've been over there before, so yeah. I'm out of there now. Couldn't drink any beer. One is enough. Anyway, I'm walking down to check out the Tennessee Aquarium. 
No, I'm not gonna go in and look at any fish today, but <laughs> I'm going to have some fun walking around the area. So this is a number of years ago now and what I wanted to do is uh, talk about something related to Chattanooga that happened a number of years ago. So there was a time in my life where I was friends with another woman and we were in a relationship, not romantically, it was a platonic relationship. She married a guy and got married to him in 2010 and I was a bridesmaid in her wedding. and. It just, it wasn't a real friendship. She was just using me out of loneliness and appearing to be my friend so that she could show off and beat me. And she was so jealous of me. It wasn't funny and she had a lot of issues with insecurity. But anyway, we had been planning this for about two months. We were supposed to go on a birthday trip down here June 2013. We looked at doing a river cruise as well as eating dinner and having a picnic on the way. Well, in 2013, there was a massive thunderstorm that hit Atlanta and it knocked out trees and power lines and all that. Well, my ex-friend was a queen of manipulation and she would promise things and then she would turn around and make excuses for whatever reason. And that was because uh, she didn't want to deal with something like she didn't want anybody to touch her husband and she didn't like it that uh, another friend of mine was talking to her husband because she was afraid that she might take him away from her so any other woman was a threat and so last minute the day before the supposed trip her husband evidently got into an accident or nearly got into an accident and she called me the night before and said that we were not going to be coming to Chattanooga after all because her husband nearly got into an accident because the traffic lights were out and because he was so shaken up they didn't want to go anywhere. But of course her husband had a portion of his brain taken out and he also well, had to be on the autistic spectrum as well. so. Uh, that could have also been anxiety I don't know but my ex friend again was queen of manipulation so I was very upset because I didn't get away at the time because my budget was tight and I was working for a real estate firm which only paid by commission and I didn't make anything there because I hardly got any leads and whenever I did get leads I just never got paid because they always fell through all the time supposedly so I was miffed to be to speak miffed actually um, I was pissed because I was looking forward to getting away and looking forward to it so instead we ended up doing things in Atlanta the other girl ended up bowing out because she didn't want to go see a movie she just wanted to do something like playing pool at my ex friend's condo because they had a pool and then going out for pizza over there but my ex friend wanted to watch the Star Trek movie so either way that's water up under the bridge now and I'm back in Chattanooga and I did an autism conference and I ate at Loopy's and I've been there about four times now and this is my third time back to Chattanooga maybe I should come back and make up for what happened in 2013 who knows Let's see, I don't want to slip, especially with me having a little bit of beer in my belly. You can't see how slippery. Oh. It's a little slippery, and the water is a little cold. You can hear kids back there.
ice cream. How about that? And this is coffee ice cream, no doubt, with pieces of mint. Mmm. Oh. I'm having a summertime peppermint mocha flavored ice cream. So I'm way ahead of the Christmas and er, Christmas in July thing. My me time continues, but it's nice to be back. I found out there was a nightfall, which has the free concerts, but after surveying on the shuttle back there, uh, one, it's gonna be crowded, and two, I'm a little sleepy from that beer. So, in addition to the long day, so I think it's movie night time, or movie time. Beer and ice cream. I had a beer tonight and an ice cream. Not together. I didn't have any beer floats, but I had ice cream and then later on I just went to the Stone Cold Creamery and got myself some ice cream and now I'm just walking around. I think I'm going to skip the bands and go straight home. I mean not home to Atlanta, but straight back to the hotel now and have movie night. Um, I think I'm going to try to stay up as late as possible. I mean, I can't sleep until noon, but I can sleep in at least till around um, 10 o'clock. And that's a good thing. And then I can go and grab brunch at Burger King, which will be right by the, um, the bus stop. And just go on home and have, enjoy the rest of my night. <laughs> 